matter what life holds for us. I choose you, Karis Anna Gray. To live and grow old with you. So I am James, I'm the groom today. <laughs> <laughs> We thought, well, we should tell you a little bit about Caris, and there is quite a lot of fun. I have a new front respect for the YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs>
And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fairy Hill on this memorable day for the marriage of James William Whitaker and Caris Anna Gray. Marriage in this country is the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Today is a day they will remember all their lives. Do you, James, take Caris to be your partner in marriage? And do you, Caris? Take James to be your partner in marriage to each other. <laughs> I choose you, Karis Anna Gray. I promise to always be by your side and to cherish every moment which I get to spend with you. Because of you, I am free to be myself and to live out this amazing life with you forever by my side. My one and only, the greatest person in the world. I am yours forever. I choose you, James Whitaker, through the tears and laughter, to live and grow old with you. Because of you, I am the best that I can be every single day. The love of my life, my best friend, <laughs> my soulmate. I love you. Okay. <laughs> done. Well done. <laughs> and symbolise a love that is complete and unending. There are also the outward signs of the promises you've made to each other today. You will have my support and respect. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And be there for you always. And be there for you always. From this day forward. From this day forward. No matter what life holds for us. No matter what life holds for us. <laughs> Today marks a whole new chapter of your lives together. So that you are now husband and wife. Congratulations. to my left um, with a man who started the day as Mr. James William Whittaker and finishes the day as Mr. James William Whittaker. <laughs> it's Mr. James William Whittaker. I am James, I'm the groom today. Uh, I just wanted to thank you all so much for coming. Thank you for accepting me into your family from the very start. 
and still accepting me even since I've become far too comfortable. <laughs> stop, stop making cups of tea, stop doing the washing up, yeah. but still accepting me. I never thought I'd feel so at home being in a second family. So thank you also to Will, Lauren, Ella for making that happen. <laughs> She just stood anyway, she toasted herself. That's fine. Perfect. She's toasting the empty. For those of you who, who don't know, Karis and I are actually the classic example of a modern day love story. Two people who met through Snapchat. <laughs> so, we may have got the last five years absolutely flown by. And I'm so lucky that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. You are truly amazing. I love you so, 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 so much. <laughs> the most beautiful bride, Karis. We have uh, Simon and Sean Gray. Yes. <laughs> James has already said it's it's fantastic to join with another family and uh, with Simon and Paul's family as our children come together, and we are so delighted as well uh, that uh, you two have uh, finally tied the knot. So we thought, well, we should tell you a little bit about Caris, and there is quite a lot to say. <laughs> And it's all about content, as they keep telling us about that. Um, I know why you're funny, Karis, but I, think, I do think that when Karis comes into a room, I do feel like the party starts when Karis arrives. And it certainly does in our household, and I'm sure it does for a lot of you too, when Karis comes around or you've got time together. And they say that one of the maxims for success, isn't it, they say, is to do what you really enjoy and you're passionate about, work hard at it and it usually will lead to a very successful outcome. So I think, Karis, you, you are an example of that, Karis and James together as well. Basically, James is fantastic for all Karis's flaws. I mean, there are one or two. <laughs> James seems to be the perfect match, so we are truly indebted to James. So we're happy kind of to see you build a wonderful friendship and a relationship, and but also business together and busy bee, and also the online community. It's an amazing thing you've already done. And I think, you know, that doesn't happen by chance and just luck. It is down to the people that you are, and it's both of you, which is fantastic. And we were all so pleased that you decided to do it together and go that journey together. So just some pictures, which I hope <laughs> will go along <laughs> when I am reading you a poem. Oh, although she was the third grade child, she made her presence felt. And with her happy, carefree mouth, way she made our big hearts melt, all the joy she brings. The hankies that she used to use while trying to suck her thumb. Gymnastics, tumbles, jumps and spins that started the big bum. <laughs> all carefree, young and single. But soon she met a handsome boy who made her kind of tingle. <laughs> Since then, James has been part of life and coped with all that brings. And now she asks him her questions and borrows all his things. <laughs> Together they have done some things that make us oh so proud. Too many things for me to list or say out aloud. So this poem wouldn't be complete without a little mention of Mila, who is family now and needs lots of attention. <laughs> this is the end of my poem about your fun-filled life. Who would believe this little Tigger has now become a wife? Yay. For Busy Bee, life is such fun, despite the stress and fuss. But most of all, we wanted to say, you'll always be Paris and yeah. James to us. Yeah. And raise your glasses to taste the bride and groom. Yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Mother of the groom, Mrs. Whittaker. <laughs> <laughs> I am delighted today to welcome Carith officially uh, as part of the Whittaker family. Carith, however, blew into our lives more than five years ago. She swept into it like a whirlwind, <laughs> and things have honestly not quite been the same. The same. <laughs> she is clever. Beautiful, hardworking, loving, caring, generous, and incredibly untidy. <laughs> <laughs> already, and I am so excited at the thought of witnessing you and Caris's lives together. 
Right, well, um, I guess it's me now. A year ago today, as in the day I was actually writing this speech, um, <laughs> I was actually sat on a rooftop bar in Zadar, Croatia, when I received a call from my brother. He had asked Karis to marry him, and she had obviously said yes. Where are we here? I was, I was overjoyed, and I was so excited, and like anybody else, I wanted to know everything. So I asked my brother, you know, what did you say? How did you do it? Uh, what did Karis say? Uh, just tell me everything. And James, my loving brother, uh, said to me, oh, well, you can watch it all on the channel on Monday. <laughs> It, it, that was one extra view that they got. <laughs> this has been such a difficult speech to write, actually. Because as the best man, I would normally be tasked with retelling the definitive stories from the lives of the happy couple. Uh, from the time they met, to the moment they fell in love, to today, and everything in between. All from memory. I mean, it's difficult. It would be so much easier if there was some sort of historical documentation that had been made chronicling the lives of Caris and James, the couple that I have easy access to. You know, preferably in video format or pictorially. Mm. Alas. If James and Caris were any normal couple, that would be the task I'd be faced with when writing this speech. However, they aren't. Uh, there, of course, is a YouTube channel. There's two, two YouTube channels. Uh, and Instagram, and that should be everything I need for this speech. It should make my life a lot easier. However, I now face a completely different task, because how do you recount stories from a couple's lives together when they have already told every single one of them? <laughs> I wanted the brother who inspired me to conquer my stage fright. The brother who jumped in to rescue his father. The brother who brought joy to his nan's face every time he visited her in the hospital. The brother who has grown and matured to be smart, funny, unwavering, relentless, kind, loving, creative, brilliant, and above all else, unembarrassable. <laughs> and after 22 years, um, I think I can finally admit that I am not the best man here. You are. Aww. I realise now that I've taken the best man speech and turned it into a love letter for my um, Before we finish by inevitably toasting the happy couple for one last time, uh, there are actually some more people who would like to say a few words to Harris and James. Uh, now, you may not actually recognise all of them, but that's because you've been having a rather one-sided video chat with them until now, uh, and I thought they may actually want a chance to reply. So, without further ado, here are your Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers. From Belgium. From the Philippines. From Sarah. From the Netherlands. From Turkey, Australia. From Katie in South Carolina. From Croy, Australia. From Atlanta, Georgia. All the way from Little Old New Zealand. Hey, the media. We're from Oxford. Hey, my name is Sarah and I'm from Virginia. <laughs> from Montreal, Canada. And I'm saying congratulations on your wedding. I just wanted to say congratulations to James and Cass on their marriage. And I Congratulations on your marriage. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Congratulations on the wedding. Congratulations, James and Camus. Huge congratulations on your wedding. Oh, thank you so much. I hope your day is absolutely as lovely as you two are. You deserve the world and you deserve happiness. And I'm just so unbelievably happy that you and James have found each other. We so fun watching your journey so far. I love watching your guys' videos. You're so inspirational. I love your energy and positivity and have an amazing wedding day. I wish you all the best for the future. Just remember, you are enough. Now go and have some fun on your hanging because you deserve it. And I think I speak for all of the ZB family when I say we can't wait for those Whitaker babies. So <laughs> 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 I'm glad they came out okay. Um, after taking about 24 hours of my life doing it, um, I have a newfound respect for the YouTubers. In the <laughs>
makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand, could you hold my hand? Look me in the eyes You and me, yeah that's all I need 